All right. Hello and uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so two weeks without uh, sim racing because I have been uh, quite sick, but uh, now I'm finally feeling uh, good enough to do some some uh, racing. So uh, yeah, uh, this is the third race of the uh, 90s PTCC series and. Uh, we are at Alton Park, so uh, not an easy, not an easy track to drive. It's uh, pretty uh, unforgiving for your mistakes, as it's uh, very narrow and uh, uh, lots of grass and sand, so you quickly end up quite far, uh, quite far off the track if you if you make a mistake. Yeah, and also a uh, big thanks again for Mr. BTCC for the awesome livery for this uh, Vauxhall Cavalier. Uh, this is sort of uh, like if you know the uh, 90s DTM, uh, the Jägermeister Alfa Romeo. It's uh, the orange color is, is from that that car, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I mean, very good. I think it's. Uh, the most uh, beautiful car on the track by far. And also quite a good number of, of drivers. This series has been pretty popular. Uh, I think yeah at the moment we have like like 30 drivers. Yeah, Ralf, Jägermeister. Don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, that's the best I can do. <clears throat> yeah, and also... Uh, oh, still, third fastest. Yeah, the whole... Uh, the, the default setup for these cars it's, it's really horrible, but uh, luckily, uh, Mr. BTCC and Al Wood have made a really good job with the, with the setup, so big thanks for them. Now the car is much more drivable. Yeah, and of course. Uh, oh, where did Toka go? I don't know. Yeah, here's Oka with the Karhu beer team. And uh, quite nice livery for that, for that Volvo. Oka also, oh, mistake there, but uh, he's been really fast, like, see, 142. I am about uh, almost a second slower, slower than him. And uh, yeah, here's Stargald with the uh, Cavalier. He, he has not so been so lucky with with the car. He he got the old old rusty Cavalier from the uh, back of the back of some barn of 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 uh, beer racing. That car hasn't been used for years, as you can see, and could use some new paint. <laughs> yeah, great livery. Okay, I'll better to do some uh, practice before the qualifying, if there is room of, on the track. Yeah, 33 drivers at the moment. Big grid. It's gonna be an interesting race. Alright, here we are. Yeah, these are cars from the nine, uh, early 90s, so suspension isn't that good, 
Uh, sound is really nice, really good mod. And uh, yeah, brakes of course. On the opening laps they are pretty good, but they tend to heat up and fade away uh, from what I've heard uh, during the race. So the lap times are gonna uh, go down significantly during the race. Yeah, great track this all from Park. Definitely one of my favorites of the British tracks. Not too many overtaking spots. So uh Yeah, it's there's going to be some some uh you need to get your elbows out if you want to make some overtakes or just wait wait for uh the driver in front of you to make mistakes. I mean, this is quite tricky track with these cars, so mistakes will come. And that is once again uh, puts quite a lot of uh, weight to the how important the qualifying will be here. I mean, the opening laps starting the mid pack or, or, or the like their plus 20 yeah it's gonna be pretty chaotic I think a lot of yellow flags and have to admit I haven't done any longer streams with this car uh, I think six laps is the maximum I, I have managed to drive. And uh, but from what I have heard from from the teammates and other drivers, the uh, tire wear is pretty tricky with these cars. The, everything everything is good uh, till you go below 90 90 percent on the front tires. Then it starts starts to get uh, really really understeery and uh, yeah after that also pretty quickly comes that the brakes start to fade away so it's not not an easy easy 30 minutes and these are proper front wheel drive cars so uh, you have to go you get need to be really really gentle going in into the corner and uh, then try to get a fast fast exit and of course the tire model is is that uh, if you overheat your tires for example locking your locking up your front wheels it's uh, or, or uh, like sliding it's it's really hard to get those tires back to the working temperatures first time i tried these cars i was all over the place i mean the uh, default setup was so horrible that i i couldn't keep any of these three cars on the track uh, more than one lap yeah, that double right hander is, is the most most important corner on this track easy to go wide and if you go too slow you you lose uh, so much speed for the next straight
but now now with this improved setup it's 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 really nice nice car to drive and there has been some really good racing during this series oh running out of fuel Yeah, okay, so 30 seconds to qualify. Yeah, sorry, my voice voice is still a bit bit down, but uh, at least it, it's a lot better than it used to be during the last two weeks. Oh, really good time. 142.7 from Mr. BTCC. I think Mr. BTCC and Oka are the only two drivers that have managed to get under 142. Of uh, 143, I mean. Yeah, thanks, Oka. Thanks, Oka. Uh, Good luck to you as well. Although seems that uh, from from the practice servers and uh, and the times you don't need need any luck for the qualifying. But uh, hope in the race everything goes goes well to you. Uh, Going to be tricky one with the uh, overtaking the back markers. Yeah, thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Good luck to you as well. <clears throat> All right. Let's hope that the so-called ring rust isn't so, so bad. Last time I came back from the, uh, from a two weeks break, it was pretty horrible. The driving and the qualifying, but uh, now I'm feeling a bit more confident. Yeah, thank you, Andre. So seven laps. All right, let's give it a go. Yeah, have so many setups that have to double or triple check that uh, I'm using the correct one. I think I'll need to do the uh, fastest lap right away as the car seemed to be, for me at least, it seems to be slowing down uh, after one, one fast lap. Luckily, this is not the qualifying lap. Oh, the track is feeling much more slippery. Yeah, the qualifying ha times in this series have been are much slower than than in the practice so maybe the track is just green 
interesting. Okay, let's see how it goes. Feel was almost like driving on ice compared to the practice. Light there. <laughs> really sleep every track now. Oh, still one forty three, pretty good. Great time from Snowomsky. much faster on there, shame that the first two sectors weren't weren't good. Uh, managed to improve but uh, left a lot of time there on the track. But yeah, 143.8, so not a disaster. Should be like uh, maybe maybe good for seventh, seventh place. Great qualifying for from Mr. BTCC as well. Yeah, that was that was pretty pretty hard. Track felt completely different than in the practice. Someone mentioned it after the first two races, but uh, of course, didn't remember that. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if there's still... Javier finished his lap. Okay. Excellent qualifying by Snomsky. Yeah, 
Yeah, and good qualifying from Al as well. Hmm. Yeah, Trev is 13th at the moment. Yeah. Under 43 even on those conditions, so uh, hats off to Oka, really good qualifying. Yeah, this is the second lap now. Went a bit too aggressive to the last last uh, corner and that when it goes up the hill, the car really gets uh, understeer, so you have to be careful when you when you start accelerating. Yeah, much, much better qualifying than I expected. Journey, so 36 drivers <laughs> pretty awesome numbers here at SRGP Snoop is still on his qualifying lap. So we wait wait till he finishes the lap. I can say it's not gonna be a pole position for Snoop in this race. Now we we are starting. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Oka. Yeah, ex excellent, excellent uh, time from you. Yeah, the track was felt felt really slippery, and uh, yeah, you you managed to go under one forty three. So great driving. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a good good fight unless you you uh, escape to the horizon immediately. But yeah, really proud of Snormski. Great qualifying from him. Okay. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah, and that uh, Vlad Tokarev also, he was pretty fast on, on the last race, so it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah, how did Ralph do? I don't know. Yeah, he 20, 23rd. So he's gonna have, have uh, some, some action, I think.
Yeah. And then uh, race's starting procedure gonna is gonna be the uh, rolling start again. Uh, I don't know. It's maybe the second or third corner. I'm I'm not quite sure how it's it's measured because the second corner is just the uh, very fast right hander over the hill, and the that's basically straight. So it's it's. Only namely a corner, so but yeah, let's let's see how how Aka does. Okay, we are waiting for someone, but uh, yeah, Oka is asking, will we start on turn two or turn three? Okay, so first left hander, so it's the third. Third corner after the fast right hander. Clear. Let's just hope that everyone got that message. One more liter just in case. Yeah, so really good qualifying for a race club the Wednesday. Snomsky second, I was third, and uh, Mr. BTCC was fifth. And uh, Al was just outside of the top ten, I think. Alright, here we go. Well done, Snormsky. Good start. Again, it's gonna be really tricky. Bit of sliding there from Snormsky. And 
crash running away. Yes, Nomsky made a mi small mistake there and uh, let me go. Thanks for that. Tokarev is right behind him. Luckily the grip seems to be a lot better than in the qualifying. Snomsk is still ahead of Tokarev. Now Tokara got past Snormsk and he's right behind me. What a stupid mistake.
move away the way there. Thank you. Some traffic here already. Massimiliano Ferrari there. Those corners get trickier all the time. Oh, Mr. BTC is up to fourth. Tokarev went wide. So the front left is now 89, so under the magic. 90 number so now it starts to get trickier have to turn out really early to get the car to turn in time I think I 
gained a few tents towards Oka. Thank you, Leandro. Oka suffered from that a bit more than we did with Flood. Breaking to that Last corner is uh, really bumpy, so have to be careful now that, that the brakes have started to show some wear already. Oka is also starting to take a bit wider line. is maybe starting to have some tire wear now. and lost two positions. Huge frame rate issues for me at the moment. Maybe there's too many cars on the track. Oka have managed to get past Oka.
Thank you, Sam. Well done. Yeah, gap to behind is really good, so just have to be a bit more patient now. As Oka is clearly having issue with understeer now. Okay, clean overtake. Okay, Oka is really slow on that corner, so I managed to increase the gap. But Tokarev is already quite far in front. It's really easy now to start locking your brakes up. Seven minutes and I need big mistake from Tokarev. It seems that gap to Oka is now pretty safe.
Oh, shame to ruin Mrs. BTCC and Chicken's battle here. Thank you, Mrs. BTCC. Thank you, Chicken. Some yellow flags, but luckily no one in that corner. That was chicken. I was looking if Oka has catch me, but Mr. BTC is still fought. Five minutes to go. Yeah, Tokarev is just that bit faster. Few tens faster than I am in every lap. Damiano did well to wait us to get by before returning the track. Yeah, that's Massimiliano. I was Thank you. I was Slightly hoping that it was Tokarev, but uh, unfortunately not. I saw a quite large pack of back markers there on my map. Let's see if we catch them or not. Only two minutes to go. Surprisingly large gaps here at the front. I mean, great driving from Tokarev. Yeah, he's really put, putting some good lap times, e even even uh, this close to the end. Wow. 
one minute to go. More than enough of fuel. That's a good thing. Might be the final lap, yeah. Tokarev isn't that far away. Oh, someone has took my brake marker there. Okay. P2. Yes. I think this was the maximum result for me. Uh, no, no chance against Tokarev, but really happy. Good to be back, back in sim racing. When I was sick, I, I missed this, these races so much. Really good fun. And uh, I think next week we have, uh, do we have Donington maybe? So the 93 ye year layout, so that should be good. Okay, excellent. So let's see, yeah, Tokarev. Tokarev won. And uh, yeah, I was second. Uh, Oka managed to finish third, so two Finns on the podium. Yeah. Thanks, Oka, thanks. <laughs> Seems that I, I was a bit better with the tires this time. <laughs> Your driving looked... Look quite difficult and so sorry for that uh, bit desperate overtaking at them but I, I saw that uh, Vlad, Vlad was uh, really fast so I, I tried to get past you as fast as possible and uh, but turned out that I, I couldn't have no, no chance against him he, he did so well ah oh, okay yeah you had a problem with the brake pedals yeah that sucks I mean, I, I used to have uh, brake pedals with potentiometers, and it, it was when once it started to go wrong, it was complete nightmare. Although I tried to clean them as as often as I could, but it it still came back. Hey, Kenny! Thank you, thank you. Nice to be back. Good to see here you here on the stream as well. Oh. Seems that I, I didn't have my performance mode on my streaming program, so that's why the frame rate was a bit off here and there, but uh, yeah, didn't affect the results, but uh, that's that's maybe the only ring rust I had this time. So uh, congrats to Mr. BTCC as well, uh, P4, great result, and uh, oh, Assassinat, another uh, Karhupir. Uh, driver P5, yeah, great result from him as well. And Al was seventh, and Stargard managed to get up to P8, so he must have had an interesting race. Let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, Snomsky retired, but yeah, really good qualifying. He has been really good on qualifying uh, in, in the past few races where I've raced with him. He has been actually faster than I was, so <laughs> good driving. And uh, Mrs. PTCC 27th. Uh, and uh, Reverend Hoover 24. So, overall, good race for the team. And uh, really happy with the number of drivers. 36, it's, it's a lot. Good numbers for SRGP. So, uh, yeah.
okay. So, uh, let's see if, if there's gonna be some racing. Uh, Saturday I am, unfortunately, uh, not able to race, so no stream then, but uh, maybe. Maybe on Sunday, let's see. But uh, big thanks for everyone who was watching and uh, always thankful for the for the support I get from you guys here. So uh, really nice to be back and uh, next week should be plenty of streams and yeah, it's gonna be last race of uh, this series and then there's gonna be at least the uh, Porsche Cup race on, on Sunday now that the NFL season is over. So uh, big thanks for everyone who watched the stream and uh, yeah, hopefully see you next time. Good night.